Hello, hello, Canadian Sasquatch here with a beer review brought to you by the Birra del Borgo. So, the tasting niche was sampling the Prunus uh, a couple days ago, and I happened to be walking through the, the liquor store today and saw the interesting style bottle that she had mentioned and so I will be sampling the My Antonia from uh, Birra del Borgo uh, which is from Italy and it looks like uh, Dogfish Head may be the ones that imported it or had something to do with it be or it's a collaboration with Dogfish Head because I don't know if you guys can see this. Right there in the top corner, there's the Dogfish Head logo. So, according to the bottle, it is a continually hopped Imperial Pills. So I am going to crack it open and we will have a taste. And the lighting probably sucks, but oh well. So I just brought it home and I stuck it in the freezer for a little bit to chill it down a bit. Um, so yeah, it's quite foamy. Comes in a 11.1 .1 fluid ounce bottle, 7.9% alcohol by volume. Well, there we go. <clears throat> so it is a golden color, uh, a little hazy it looks like. You can see it's got a huge head on it. So uh, yeah, definitely can smell the hops in this. There is, even through all this uh, foam on top there, there's a lot of, a lot of hops. Let me, uh, doing this in my kitchen since I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of mead maintenance, so I'm just gonna spoon this stuff out. Cause I'm impatient. Which is kind of odd, making mead and being impatient at the same time. It's just going to be seriously for me. <clears throat> so yeah, so I was just walking through the liquor store and recognized the bottle. And I was like, hey, that's the same stuff that Tasting Niche had. So I figured I'd buy the bottle that they had. They didn't have any other ones except for this uh, My, My Antonia. So uh, yeah. So definitely has the hop smell. Kind of flowery, fruity. Think of apricots. Um, that's pretty much all I'm getting on the smell. So, uh, cheers. Well, if more Pilsners tasted like this one, I would definitely be drinking a lot of them. That's Tastes more like a IPA for sure, an Imperial IPA. Um, the malts and the bitterness from the hops are very well balanced. You get the nice sweet malty character and then the bitterness on the back end just to kind of cleanse it all out for you. Um, I don't get too many other flavors out of it other than that. I'm not very good at picking out flavors still. Um, and so yeah, but yeah, just a quick little uh, beer review for 
because Taster Niche saw these or did this one of these brands and I saw it so why not and it's a good one unfortunately this uh, not quite 12 ounce bottle was eight bucks so it is a pricey beverage so uh, I may not buy another one of this one but if I do see more from this brand I will definitely give it a try because it is a good a good tasty beverage so cheers everyone be sure to have a pint of awesome I know I will